Good morning, it is shaking, hold on. Welcome back to another video. This morning I woke up and I saw snow and it just reminded me how badly I need to take extra good care of my skin during this winter season. And I just thought I'll make a video about it because I'm sure many of us deal with the same struggles of having chapped lips, dry flaky skin. Over the past year, I had quite a bit of time to experiment with new products different kind of skincare routines that worked best for me. I'll show you some of the things that I put on my skin on a daily basis. I have a morning routine and also a night routine, so I'll walk you through that for the day. I just got out of my morning shower and I'm gonna go into my skincare routine. But before I even dive into that, I just wanna highlight the importance of drinking enough water each day. One very useful tip that I learned from someone else is just having a big water bottle right next to you every single day. In the morning, I would go downstairs, fill up my one liter bottle, I would fill up a big large cup of water, and also bring a cup of coffee with me. That's already 1.5 liters of water, and usually I finish all of this by 2 p.m. What that means is, with the remainder of the day, I just need to drink two more cups in order to fill my daily requirements, and that's really doable. Get it with the numbers on the side so you can actually track how much water you're drinking. Just bring this with you and try and finish it. So with that being said, this morning I washed my face with the Cetaphil moisturizer. Now I'm gonna go in with some aloe because I'm feeling a little bit red in certain spots in my face. Aloe is really good for irritated skin. And sometimes coming out of the shower, I have really dry and sensitive skin. It starts turning really red, so I need to calm it down. I like to go in with some bio oil. I have some scars on my face, and this really helps reduce the redness of it. Next, I like to put on sunscreen. It's a must for me. So the first sunscreen that I'm using is the Nature Republic Sunblock. This is their California Aloe line and it has an SPF of 50. I really like this product because it is quite moisturizing as you can see in my demonstration. It also smells really good. And of course, I love my aloe if you can't tell already and the fact that this sunscreen has aloe in it makes it all the more enjoyable to use. The next sunscreen that I'm using is by JM Solution. It is their Glow Luminous Flower Sun Milk. Just by the name itself, you can tell it is really silky and easy to use. I usually apply this in my T-zone area. The T-zone area is where it's the oiliest for me. So it's my forehead and my nose. It also has an SPF of 50, but the main difference is the texture and the kind of finish that it leaves off. Hey guys, this is editing me. So let me first explain why I use two sunscreens. I have what's called combination skin, which means some parts of my skin is dry and some parts of my skin is oily. I use the Glow Luminous Sun Milk for the oilier parts because it has a drier and more matte feeling. Whereas the Nature Republic sunscreen is suitable for dry skin because it has a very moisturizing and thick solution. And finally, just to wrap off the morning routine, I am applying the Melaleuca lip balm in the Pina Colada flavor. I'm gonna be filming another video here. It's coming out in a week or so, so stay tuned for that. It is the evening now, so I'll be going through my night routine. First off, I'm gonna take off my makeup with the Cetaphil Gentle Makeup Remover. Afterwards, I like to use my Nivea toner. Again, I go in with a new clean cotton pad here I just kind of get rid of the excess oil around my T-zone area and just to get the leftover makeup that's still on my face, under my eyes usually. Once we have all of that, 
I'm gonna go rinse my face off with water. So normally I would just kind of go straight into the moisturizing cream, but today I'm feeling a bit extra. So I'm gonna go in with the Laneige Water Bank Serum. And last but not least, I recently discovered this amazing moisturizing cream. So I have really sensitive skin I've mentioned earlier and normally if I put on cream, if it's too heavy, then it's gonna make me kind of break out. But this one, it's lightweight, yet it still does its hydrating job. Super basic, has no scent which I really like. Like having a little bit of scented stuff is nice, but you don't wanna start smelling like a perfume bottle. All right, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching to the end and make sure to stay tuned for a new video coming out next week. Until next time, bye.